So we have a post from the internet that I'm going to comment on. And here's what the post says. It says, my heart is broken. I met my boyfriend over three months ago. He wanted a commitment right away. He recently invited me and my son to move in with him. Okay, three months ago. And you have a child. And this guy has invited within three months and you're moving in. Yeah. We are looking for a larger home so that my child and his two children can have their own bedrooms. So he's doing it too. He told me that he has my back no matter what. He's always, how do you know always is three months? How long is always? There's no always in three months. He's always worried about me and my health. We've had five hour long conversations on the phone and share a bed every night. Are you seeing the problems? We've never had an argument. Then what is this post about to be? (laughs) I know. I'm trying to figure this out. We're best friends. That's good. That's good. But you shouldn't be sleeping with your best friend and moving in together after just three months, especially if you have kids. Shouldn't introduce kids to somebody that you're dating unless it's been at least six months, preferably a year. We laugh together every day. We've met each other's families and have made plans for the future. Can you say hashtag too fast? Mm -hmm. I can already tell where this is about to go. Everything he does for me and the way he treats me tells me that he loves me without him actually saying it. Oh my God, here we go. (laughs) Or so I thought. (laughs) This morning, I told him that I loved him for the first time, not out loud, but on his birthday card. I wrote out my feelings on his birthday card and gave it to him along with his birthday present. Today is his birthday. He didn't say it back, and I watched him read the card so I know he knows how I feel. We just ate breakfast and ignored the elephant in the room. I wonder if he thinks that this is an elephant in the room or if he just read the card. I was like, oh, hey, thanks. Then he kissed me a few times like he does every morning. We walked out of the house together like we do every morning. He walked me in my car and kissed me goodbye like he does every morning. With the exception of telling him I love him, it was a perfectly normal morning. You think she's reading too much into this? Probably. Yeah. Now I don't even want to go home to him when I leave the office tonight. I feel like I should avoid him. Can we say drama queen? Talk about overthinking it. I know that I need to just keep ignoring the elephant in the room and pretend like I never gave him that card. But I think I'll have to too much trouble hiding my tears. Then it's going to be awkward. It's called... She's crying about it. Hey, did you read what I wrote you? Hey. Did, what do, what's your thoughts? Yeah. It's a good suggestion, Jennifer. <laughs> that's a, literally what I would have done. If there's somebody that th- is this emotionally insecure and emotionally fragile, she has no business being in a relationship yet. Right. Well, also, she's you're clearly with damaged someone. and she's living with them. Yeah. You say I love you before you move in with each other. You say I love you before you have sex with someone. You say I love you before you introduce your kids to each other, unless it's just play dates or whatever, but you don't combine your family, then say you love each other. Order of operations. No wonder she's got problems. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Now I've lost problem. My, now I've lost my place on the teleprompter. <laughs> Obviously, if they're talking about plans for the future, he's got probably some, you know, you don't talk uh-huh. about that stuff. Yep. Unless he's just playing her and he moved her in because he needed someone to watch his kids. But Could it be. De- but it doesn't sound like walks her to a car every morning and kisses her and things like that. Like to me it sounds like he he's in yep. it more than I just don't know how to handle this. I'm embarrassed and scared that I just blew this perfect relationship. Ain't perfect relationship. You're out of order. Yeah. And you've put so much hope and everything into it and it's not. This is why you shouldn't do this. This is why there's problems. Mm -hmm. I'm so afraid that he's going to end it because he doesn't feel the same. I don't know how to handle this, and I need advice. Should I just beat him home, destroy the card, and pretend like it never existed? Why? Because he already read it. That's going to happen. Yeah, and that'll do it. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Is it possible that he may love me eventually but not yet? Or should I just pick up my broken heart and move on? It's possible that he's like, you know what? This is not the right way of the way I want to tell her I love her. I've got it planned it out. It could be it, any number of a things. a million things. A but, million things. But yeah. <laughs> Can you, and but she wouldn't have to worry about any of this. And you know, you? she's already been through a relationship she's got kids from that didn't work out. She's not ready to have a 
a well, good and stable like relationship. She has a son. He has two kids. I wonder what his situation was prior to. Uh -huh. Was he hurt? Yeah. Was he done wrong? I mean, he's got two kids. It sounds like to me like maybe he yep. has custody of them. I don't know. So what do you all think? Tell us in the comments. This is the Lawyer Dana Show.